I'm currently standing at the junction of Craig Road and Tanjung Paga Road, overlooking 37 Tanjung Paga Road, where an accident this morning saw five people killed after their car crashed into the shop house. Now this incident, the tragedy, which happened on the second day of the Lunar New Year, happened at about 5 a.m. this morning. At around 11 o'clock this morning, the Straits Times spotted two groups of people leaving the scene, visibly distraught. Now, they have been assumed to be the families of the deceased. The police have since put up a white sheet over the front of the shop house after two hearses were seen leaving the scene for the morgue at the Singapore General Hospital. According to preliminary police investigations, the car was driven by a 29-year-old male, with four male passengers on board who were between 26 and 29 years old. The car was believed to have been speeding along the road before crashing into a shop house and catching fire. Oh my God! The driver and passengers were pronounced dead at the scene. A 26-year-old woman, believed to be known to the driver, attempted to help him and the passengers. She suffered severe burns to her body and was conscious when she was taken to Singapore General Hospital. Here's a brief timeline of what unfolded this morning. At 5.30am, witnesses said they heard the roar of a car engine before a loud crash. Eyewitnesses said a white BMW slammed into a vacant shop house previously occupied by Five Oz Coffee Roasters. Mr Song Sing Woon, who lives at Craig Road, was one of the first people at the scene. So me and uh, my boy came down, walked past, uh, we didn't run. Uh. By then, I saw other neighbours coming down. I mean, there are two blocks of uh, flat here, walking towards the accident scene. You can see the fire from I mean, the middle of the road. Um, see the fire, see the flame, and could hear the popping sounds of explosions, small explosions. So we were on the opposite side, uh, looking as the flame and the engine were obviously uh, there already, and holes were being poked up and doused. Uh, so while that was happening, uh, I, can, I saw a young man screaming on the side. And uh, my friends are inside there, my friends are inside there. He was quite hysterical, held back by, uh, the, I think the police had just arrived at that point, uh, a couple of them. Uh, and, you know, he was already quite screaming and quite agitated. Then I, I moved further down and then I saw another lady. Uh, it was a lady on the side, leaning against uh, the, the shop house, one of the Korean restaurants uh, there. I can see that he was quite badly uh, uh, hurt. Can't tell much because it was in the shadow, but can see bloodied arms and bloodied legs. You can see that the car has crashed right into the shop because it smacked right into the shutter uh, of the shop house, which was empty at that point. But by then the flame was already raging and there were sounds popping. But it was put up quite quickly. Things settled down. At 5.40 a.m., the Singapore Civil Defence Force is alerted to the fire. When the Straits Times arrived at the scene at 7.50 a.m., about 200 metres of Tanjong Paga Road was cordoned off and the SCDF had put out the fire. Next of kin of the victims was spotted at the crash site at around 10.30 a.m., identifying the bodies of the five killed. Two police hearses were spotted as well. At 11.11 a.m., the first hearse arrives at the mortuary in Singapore General Hospital. The second hearse arrives at the same morgue shortly after at 11.26 a.m. At about 2.20 p.m., the tow truck, with the mangled car in tow, left Tanjong Paga Road. The police lifted the cordons at around 3.10 p.m. Police investigations are ongoing. This is Chiao Suen for The Straits Times.